so you have learned bar chords and if you are searching for a f easy finger picking song this is the right song welcome to tamil guitar lessons uh, very happy to see you once again guys isaac thailia uh, this is part 2 it's a tutorial part 1 is a reference video suggest you to watch it couple of times before learning the song i put up the link in the description and also i'll display it in cards uh, let's quickly jump in all right guys uh, in part 1 i played that video in e major scale uh, what i did was i just used capo on my second fret and i just followed uh, d shape chords right now i'm going to teach you without the capo because uh, for folks who don't have capo you can just follow with me and folks who have capo we can follow the same with uh, putting the capo on second fret after the class all right uh, let me tell you what all chords which i use and before that if you're new to chord diagram stuff like that check description or in cards i put up the link regarding how to read chord chord how to read chord diagrams easily it's way more easy than you think guys uh let's jump in so the first chord obviously d major and then a and then b minor b minor 7 e major f sharp f sharp minor that's it i'm using very uh, simple pattern as you can see it's not too complicated what i'm doing is i'm just playing bass 3 2 1 2 3 bass 3 2 1 2 3 i'm playing d major in this way some folks may play like this so both are same so bass 3 2 1 what are you going to do if you play a major you have to pluck the bass note which is the fifth string and then follow the same pattern bass 3 2 1 2 3 with your right hand so when you play a string fifth is the bass note and when you play e sixth string is the bass note so you're going to play bass 3 2 1 2 3 f sharp sixth string chord so sixth string is the bass note so bass 3 2 1 2 f sharp minor same thing B minor. It's a five string chord, so fifth string is the bass note. Bass three, two, one, two, three. All right. So I started from. So it's D, A, then B minor seven. B minor seven is very simple, guys. If you know. regular b minor just take off your pinky finger it becomes b minor 7 so bass 3 2 1 2 3 and then goes to d major bass 3 2 1 2 3 3 so what i'm doing is i'm just playing bass 3 2 1 2 3 3 bass 3 2 1 2 3 3 then bass 3 spice it up a little bit guys um, uh, in part 1 i've used uh, u bass so here you can spice it up like you can spice up the bass note by just adding uh, hold the b minor chord just add c sharp note This is a D chord actually. Uh, you don't have to play D over here now. So if you have, you can instead of playing like this, you can play. This is a D chord. So this is C major, right? If you hold C major in this way, but for uh, for the E, we are playing this way. But imagine you are playing like this, and uh, if you move it till here, you have to buy a right. So this is C major. I mean, sorry, D major. So when you play B minor seven, you shouldn't finish the whole pattern because. The, 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 the. So what I'm playing is five, three, two. I 
add your pinky on fourth fret of the fifth string, play five, three, two, and then pinky on fifth fret, five, three, two, one, two, three, or else you can call it as bass three, two, one, two, three. Super slow. If it's very uncomfortable for you, I know the stretch is a little bit, you know, kind of awkward, but you can definitely get it. But if you couldn't, you can always do like. Once again. You can go like that. And then you have to repeat that same tune twice after that. Basically, we are for two lines, same chords, which is D, E, E, A. And the next line, same. Pungi Pergum. D, E, E, A. So, what I'm doing is in, with my right hand, you shouldn't finish the whole pattern. So, bass 3, 2, and then E major, bass 3, 2, play that again. Place three, two, and then go to A. So D, E, again, A. When I'm playing second time, I'm playing. Let's just spice it up. You can. Playing six, five, two, three, one. Six, five, two, three, one, two, and then playing uh, playing A major with uh, five, three, two. So sorry. Super slow. When it comes to Yanakinna, you are playing F sharp major, which is an accidental chord. Uh, Rajas are for a reason, you know, it has so much of color. Uh, normally, we play only uh, F sharp minor in D major scale, right? But we do have to play F sharp minor in this uh, song in some other place. But here we're gonna play F sharp major. So. Stay on that. B minor. So, only there you have to play F sharp major and then B minor. And then, Nidhanakani, same chords. So B minor, non F sharp major, much B minor. Let me play that passage one, once again. From uh, B minor. So so far you have to play B minor and then. and then F sharp minor. I think I didn't include uh, A7. It's very simple guys. Play A major chord and take off your middle finger. It becomes A7. A major, take off your middle finger, A7. So the G string is open. 
So. So all chords you're gonna play bass three two, bass three two, bass three two, bass three two, A major, E major, A seven, F sharp minor. Then. So B minor goes to D. Then A. B minor. You can also add a little bit of bass line. You can go like this. So I'm playing B minor. So while using this bass line, what you have to do is uh, bass three two one, and then you have to uh, plug the fifth string. I'm using bass note like this. Don't play two three. You know you don't have time there. So bass three two one, fifth string. So basically B minor, D major, A major, B minor, and then So till then you have to play A major. This A, so for two times you're gonna play the whole pattern. Then again, bass three, two, one, two, three. Now, and then it goes to D. So, 